In this video, we'll go over setting up your Avalonix Pro Series IP camera. First, go to the network address. The default address is 192.168.1.120. You'll have to enter the username and password. The default is 6 eighths and 6 eighths. Click OK. You may not see video right away. You'll have to enable ActiveX controls and be sure that you're using Internet Explorer 11. The first thing that we'll configure is the time. As you can see, since I'm on the East Coast, setting it to that and syncing it with PC time. Click Save. Go to another page and then back to make sure it's saved. As you can see up here, our time is now synced. The next step will be to enable the motion detection. You click on Event Server, Event Type, Motion Detection, Modify, I'm going to set it to 24-7 and check all these boxes here. Here it says motion detection is enabled. Then we'll go to video and audio and select motion detection and drag a box across the screen. This box is to tell the camera where to look for motion, and we'll change its sensitivity. Next we'll be looking at the bitrate of the camera. We want a high quality bitrate, so we'll be setting it to CBR and about 5,000. This will give it roughly 5 uh, megabits per second across your network. And save it. Go to another screen and come back. Make sure it's saved. Lastly, we need to connect this to our PoE and VR. Um, so we defaulted to a static IP address of 192.168.120. Um, our PoE NVR uses a default switch of 10.1.1.1 as the default gateway on it. So I'm going to change this to 2. You leave the sub subnet mask as 255.255.255.0. Primary DNS 8.8.8.8. Secondary 8.8.4.4. And save. Now that we've saved that, this should change our IP address, and as you can see by this continuous ping, the request is timed out. It's now time to connect it to the NVR. I have now plugged in the Ethernet cable into the PoE port in the back of my NVR. This will both power and send data. So now I'm going to log into the web service of the NVR using the username and password admin admin. This is our tester NVR and we don't have a hard drive installed. I'll go to setup, device search. Sometimes they don't show up, so we'll manual add. But first, 
Let's make sure that this switch is set to the correct IP address, which it is. The driver that we'll use for this device is the OnView driver. Then enter your IP address for the camera. Specify the channel that you want the camera to be on for the NVR. And enter the username and password, which is 6 eighths and 6 eighths. We want to leave the remote channel number on 1 in order to use the mainstream rather than the lower quality substream, which is on channel 2. Leave the decode buffer alone and the server type as auto. And save. Take a moment for the status. As you can see, a green checkbox appeared. If you do not see that, you can hit refresh and update. Now we're going to preview the video. So the camera has not been added to the left side, so we'll refresh, and as you can see it shows up. We'll click on this drop down arrow and select the main stream. And as you can see, the video has been added at the high bitrate. That concludes our video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.